crude oil continued its downward journey last week and has touched 75 levels in our last week's review i had mentioned very clearly that below 80 levels do not think of staying long in oil we are first looking for 78 which is a very very good support and then below that 74 75 levels will come out to be a great support level it has gone towards 75 and has closed the week at around 77.4 levels so now what to expect from crude oil next week how to profit we will see with the help of charts followed with indicators and towards then i will give you the trading levels and strategy if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates i release twice a day updates for crude oil first with the asia and europe session and next with the us session these two updates daily basis gives you a crucial view and trading levels as well thus press the bell icon and do like share and comment as well let's start first let's have a look at the 4 hour chart certainly 75 levels it has created a very very good base and with that it has started to climb up it has breached the first resistance at 77.5 now it is still looking healthier for a complete or a little retracement now 80 dollar levels which were the resistance earlier is now going to be the support here uh, which were the support here is now going to be the resistance for crude oil to break past by once it stays above 80 81 zone you can say that the prices are reversed and it is going to rally else it is still to be treated as a retracement not a reversal likewise if you look at the daily chart see higher lows consolidation and then this first candle there could be a follow up candle in the coming week we can see a further rise towards 79 or in fact 80 dollar levels where oil is going to get maximum resistance and from those levels again a possibility of a reversal exists and exists is strong and thus in the coming week maybe for first couple of trading sessions we can expect a little retracement on the upside though it is still to be treated as bearish it is not a reversal it is still a retracement now what i am trying to say here is see the drop the retracement the drop and the retracement now if you just connect these two highs you will find on the upside here is what going to be the top of this channel here yes this is a bearish channel yes it has achieved the lows and if you just connect the lows and the highs of these two you will find the top of this channel now lies at around 85 levels but the time more time it takes to move towards those levels will define how far it can stretch but yes i do think so that even if it tries to retrace 85 levels are going to be the next milestone and probably it is going to take a little more time so that uh, that levels should come down around 84 83 levels Yes, these are going to remain a greater resistance zone, and possibly oil is looking forward to a little retracement. Now, coming to the week on the weekly charts, last week we had seen see after the breakout second red candle, and in all probability we always try to see a three candle pattern when it tries to move in such formation, and the third red candle is done. Also, the important part is this candle has left a little tail on the down. Now, second observation here is see look at the eighty dollar levels eighty three. this was the greater resistance here it failed to break past and now the same in the same zone we may find greater resistance for crude oil on the upside that is the first observation second on the downside see 75 here and 74 73.8 this is a greater support and in this zone only we are going to find the maximum support for oil right now it has taken the support from 75 and thus in all probability it can start flat it can try to retrace a little possibly we may see 80 or a little higher levels in the coming week it could be a greener candle that is my expectation but not necessary that it is going to show complete reversal now coming to the monthly chart if you look at the monthly chart see this was the bottom then the retracement now it is again looking towards the support levels here at 75 74 yes good support exists here but at the same time one must note that one red candle and second red candle in formation in the beginning of the month i have mentioned very clearly that the month has closed at the bottom and it may try to trade with a bearish bias now second thing to remember that it still has further bearishness because see uh, but at the same time there are greater greater supports here thus we have to be cautious at around these levels we have to be watchful cautious alert and ensure that yes once it breaks below 74 73.8 that is the time when you can expect that we can see a equally good or big bearish candle which might in fact take it till towards 70 right now i am hoping or expecting it for retracement towards 79 or at best 80 levels at least it should try to move towards those zone and a possibility of a reversal from those levels can be expected now let's have a look at the indicator 
indicators on the monthly charts look at the 50 period moving average which is also right now positioned at around 74 which is also a great support level with respect to the candles and with respect to the 50 month average this is also at 74 thus we have to watch out even if it tries to drop these levels should be greater support and on the upside now 20 period moving average is sitting at 80 dollar levels which is a greater resistance now if you look at see the stock elastic which was slightly overbought it is trying to cool down and this is why we are looking at a red candle the magd is still it tried to cross over but it failing to do so it is again started to diverge though if you look at first wave second wave is done and on the monthly charts this is almost at bottom thus remember uh, it could converge again it could cross over again as this is the nice waves it is forming and it is almost at the bottom so these levels certainly we have to be watchful it can reverse completely and that is what i expected from 75 as well a complete reversal right now is a indication if it is 85 dollar levels you can treat this for a complete reversal rsi has dropped coming to the weekly charts on the weekly chart see moving averages had crossed over here this was a bearish cross bullish cross since then prices stayed divergent all moving averages stayed divergent also the prices stayed divergent from the moving average now it is staying below these levels and that is what makes this zone between 80 and 82 as a greater resistance zone here and that is why i say even if it tries to retrace towards 80 we have to ensure that we should know that there are greater resistance at 82.585 levels a stock is still hitting the bottom now see why there is a see moving averages here magd here crossing over and this crossover is coming at only just a halfway with the rise also if you note there was too much of divergence that is why it has converged crossover and yielded a red candle it does not mean that it cannot converge again but chances of it to yield another red candle exists strong because see the divergence here this is stronger rsi is looking downwards that is also a bearish sign coming to the daily now look at the daily charts crossover in the moving averages here this is a this was a bearish sign now you can note again the same zone which we are talking about since long is going to be the greater greater resistance zone ad 81 82.584 84, greater greater resistance here and the top of the channel again at this zone so it may take a time and then 84 levels should prove out to be the zone which it may it may fail to break past by the stock elastic is oversold looking forward to a little rise magd is also trading with extreme divergence so possibly this could converge thus for next week also we can look forward to a little retracement at least 80 79.2 79.6 or 80 levels should get achieved that is my expectation rsi hitting the bottom trying to also let's have a look at the four hour charts likewise on the four hour charts moving averages are trading with extreme divergence it has achieved the 20 period it can possibly move towards the 50 period moving average sitting at 79 levels yes these are good resistance zone a stock elastic is overbought macd has crossed over at bottom trading with divergence increasing candle size suggestive of increasing bullishness and rsi has also come out of the oversold zone so now we have seen the chart we have seen the indicators time for me to define the trading levels and strategy for you for next week and before I provide you the levels, if you want to learn this art of trading, you should join my mentorship batch. The 27th batch is going to start on 20th of November. Limited seats are available. Register yourself. Now it also, you can register by visiting our platform forex This is the platform. Here on the first page itself, you will find the details related to the mentorship batch. You can register for the batch. You will find the curriculum, the timelines, the services which you will get. And on the downside, you can just pay and book your slots. And also, you can fill in the details. Now, this platform has much more in offering, whether be it the economic calendar from across, across the globe, be it the charts for any instrument which is traded across the globe is available, or equities, stocks, futures, bonds, everything is available here. You can also schedule a call with me if you need any consultation guidance, or if you want me to make any specific prediction, you can just book a call here. And the important part is the availability of the community tab here, where you can discuss and take up a topic with the like-minded traders so do join this platform forexonda.com and yes if you want to trade as per the signals you can join my signals channel my telegram signals channel. 
is a premium channel you can be part of it where you can trade as per the signals reach out to me for more details my telegram id and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description now first let's talk about where you should buy now since we expect it to slightly trade with a still a little bullish bias one can buy here at 77.5 levels expect 78 as the first resistance zone and then beyond that we can look forward to 78.8 79.2 79.6 and 80 now this is going to be the strongest resistance zone for oil on the upside once it is stays above 80 directly we are looking at 81 82.4 and if it stays above 82.4 83.5 84 and then 85 this is the level beyond which it should be treated for a reversal and this levels are going to remain applicable for the complete month of november thus be watchful i expect it to retrace a little 79.2 that is why you can see these levels having a very very nearby resistance in this zone thus this is going to remain a greater resistance zone on the downside where you should i will recommend you to sell here at 77 expect 76.6 76 then 75 now these are going to remain the maximum resistance zone for crude oil on the downside at 75 forming the double bottom we'll see how it behaves below 75 certainly we are looking at 74 73.8 zone which i have mentioned several times is a great great support zone any point of time if it stays below 73.8 you can look forward to 72.6 levels here and then below that further drop might take it till towards 70. i do not see that happening and possibly a little retracement followed with a drop is what you can see thus more of consolidation within the zone is the expectation from the crew take your trades accordingly do like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch join my signals channel join my platform where you can discuss these topics and if you want to join the signals channel reach out to me via telegram or email yes press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis on crude oil watch the daily update itself thank you